Katie said she wanted a chicken coop, so I'm working on it. planning on making a big point of this but I figured you guys already know I'm a little crazy anyway we're kind of just getting prepared for for tougher times and we're gonna get some chickens so that we can have our own eggs and I've been using these pallets here it's my wife's idea and uh, I like it I think it's a good idea the pallets to make the chicken coop with that should last a couple of seasons I would think we got some metal roof for free Sitting there on top of my boat. This is just part of uh, what I've got to do today because earlier today I stubbed my toe on a cinder block and I was barefoot. So I have like a huge piece of skin on the end of my toe is peeled off and my toe is killing me. But anyway, I've been working on this stuff so that I can make sure that I'm prepared for my family in case there's a, some difficulty with food. We'll have a food source of some kind right now we've been wanting to get sheep out here but we still haven't been able to get the fence done on this side of the property because we have a property line issue we're still dealing with it will cross that bridge when it comes for now we're focused on getting some chickens in here and i'm putting together this coop with some scrap wood and some pallets we had and see if i can do a decent enough job to let it last a few seasons you know part of my screw it get up and do it new saying is being able to get up and do projects like this and do them the right way so i remember to get my eye protection always use eye protection if you're cutting something with the power tools and don't necessarily follow the way i do anything because i don't know what i'm doing i'm just out here working the best i can i mean i own like three levels but i can't find any of my levels right now some of them are packed in storage and some seem to just disappear you know so Trying to figure out exactly by eyeballing it about where this needs to be. You may say that I'm going a little bit overboard with this, but I think it's just being smart. Because one, no matter what happens, I'll benefit from having my own chickens for eggs. Uh, eggs are pretty expensive right now. I saw some in Publix that are over $8 a dozen. I couldn't believe that. But anyway, having your own chickens means you have your own supply of eggs and you know what they're eating. So as long as I give them good food, then uh, they're going to produce really good eggs. And that's the plan. And we got a good sized yard here. We got a good sized cage area. We originally built this for the dogs, but we haven't used it for them. So it's going to be a great spot for the chickens. And we've been using these pallets to put this coop together. I know it's a it's kind of a Frankenstein, but it should do the job when I'm done. 88 degrees today. It doesn't feel very hot compared to what it normally is. But I got to be sure to get some water. So Katie went to the local uh, farm supply store and they gave her this steel. They just had some extra and they said she could have these two pieces of uh, tin roofing. I don't know if these snips are going to handle it. I ordered some nicer ones. Looks like these snips have had it. <laughs> it definitely needs some tightening. Let me see if that will make it work. These were some roofing screws that were given to us left over from another job. All of the wood here was free 
it was either scrap wood or wood that we had in our yard so we're making the best with what we've got I get this door installed here but I've reached about all I can do today I guess I'll have to get back at it tomorrow I got to get some hinges I got to get some latches I know I've got some in my tool shed but I've had about all my body can take today in this heat out here not the best but it could have not been done that's the way I look at it and now it is mostly done we're getting there we're getting where we want to be we're having something for our chickens I'm gonna finish this off with a little slope roof here and leave this open so they got a perch area I may put a little wall coming down and a perch going across so they can be up inside but it'll be open mostly like a patio and then this will open so we can get in to get eggs which we're gonna put egg boxes all up along the inside there so that's the plan we'll see how it goes let me try out these new bison carnivore crisps. This is something new that they've come out with. So they asked me to give these a try and I'm looking forward to it. I haven't had any bison in a while and I haven't ever had any in carnivore crisps. So let's see how they do with bison. Grass fed all natural bison. No hormones, made in the USA, carnivore diet, gluten free, zero sugar, made with real salt. How can you go wrong? Bit on the crunchy side. Suggested uses. Add cheese to any of the crisps to make your own keto nachos. <laughs> well, I can't stop eating them, so I guess they must be pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are real good. Mmm. I'm gonna finish the whole bag. I better save some of these for later. <laughs> Bison carnivore crisps. Well, it looks like I wrapped up right on time with doing that chicken coop over there. You can see Luke over there playing with the rain barrel we have now, too. I'm gonna have some ribeye today. Got a couple of ribeyes. I'm fixing the heat up. The air fryer. I'm looking forward to digging into those. Katie should be back soon. I'm making two, one for each of us, so it's going to keep us all on track. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?